Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blogs of the night for Saturday, October 17th, 2015. I hope you had a good day today, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Um, it, the sun just went down a couple of hours ago, and it's dark out, it's cold, and in this area is going to be a hard freeze, 32 degrees and stuff. Growing season is over, could reach 32 degrees at Boston's Logan Airport tonight. The freeze warning everywhere in the uh, Boston area, freeze watch in Greater Boston. Some news to report. The Kansas City Royals beat Toronto Blue Jays by the score of 6-3 to three to go up 2-0 in the American League Championship Series. The series moves to Roger Center in Toronto, Canada for Games 3, 4, and if necessary, Game 5. Our games are going to be on FS1 with Joe Buck and Tom Fiducci and Harold Reynolds couple more minutes into the National League Championship Series starts with the Chicago Cubs and New York Mets on TBS with Ernie Johnson, Ron Darling, and Cal Ripken Jr. And also Craig Sager, who's been battling leukemia the past couple of years. He got a bone marrow transplant, has been cleared to return to the NBA sidelines. He's going to be reporting for NBA games on TNT this season. Good good to see Craig back and stuff. He's known for his outrageous um, sports co coats and stuff like that. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about one of the most popular sports center anchors, Chris McKendry. Chris has been anchoring Sports Center for ESPN since 1996. Chris was born and she grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her real first name's Christina, or Christine, I mean. And she was a tennis player in high school, a pretty good one. And then she went to Drexel University on a tennis scholarship. And she graduated in 1990 and stuff and after in communications and stuff and after she graduated from college she went into the broadcasting she first worked as a producer for fox news service out of washington dc for a couple of years then she um chris went to the now defunct all news channel which was a, like kind of a low budgeted version of CNN and she was a sports reporter and anchor for that network for about um, a year 1992 and 1993 then Chris went to New York to work as an anchor for an old cable network called New Sport kind of like an early version of what ESPN News for a few months in 1994 then Chris from like 1994 through 1996, worked as a sports anchor reporter for the ABC affiliate in Washington, D.C., WJLA, and she was actually the first lady to be a sports anchor in the city of Washington, D.C. on television and stuff. Plus, she also worked, did a Redskins radio show and stuff, and she won a couple of Emmys there, and during the, the night during the spring of 1996 um chris worked as a like a sideline reporter for the nba playoffs for tnt and tbs and stuff and that's the same year that chris signed with espn and she's been at, with espn ever since and when she first started at espn chris was like the one of the anchors for the 6 p.m. Sports Center. That's the prime version of the Sports Center. That's the most watched Sports Center. And she was doing that for a while. She also was one of the first anchors of ESPN News when they did 
when it was all a news channel for sports news and stuff before they just converted that over to um like sports center and um highlights and other stuff and she also like host a lot of stuff on espn like the national spelling bee she's been doing that she's been hosting the national spelling bee for about six seven eight, eight years she also is the host of the four tennis grand slams that espn is the australian open the french open uh wimbledon and and the u.s open because she used to be a tennis player and stuff and she also wrote for espn.com for about two years and stuff like that and she's also host a little league world series on espn and abc and stuff and currently chris is is on sports center usually from 11 a.m to 1 p.m she co-anchors it with jay crawford and she does a great job. They're real, real popular and stuff. And once in a while, Chris and Jay go on the road to several places. They've been to the NCAA men's basketball tournament finals. They've been to um, the Super Bowl and then the NCAA football championship game and a few other stuff, including the Little League World Series. And there's been an urban legend that Chris is a is a great uncle. Her great uncle is actor William Shatner of Star Trek and TJ Hooker and Boston legal fame. But Chris said on Twitter, that's just an urban legend. She's not related to William Shatner at all. And I don't know how these rumors start and stuff like that. Could be some 12 year old kid and for, for what it's worth. And that's about it on that. That's about it on these video blogs. I'm going to be back tomorrow with, you guessed it, three more video blogs. First video blog will be about the top 10 best Playboy playmates of all time, in my humble opinion, because Playboy magazine is getting rid of the nudes in uh, March 2016 issue. That, that's, uh, that, that's probably the death knell of Playboy because for not them not showing new photos anymore. Second video blog will be what if again, but this what if is uh, about a movie. This would be what if the ending of Rocky Five, which came out in 1990, had Rocky die in the arms of Adrian. That was the original plan and stuff, but it was we vetoed by Sylvester Stallone and the producers of Rocky Five, but I'll tell you how I, that would have played out. And the third and final video blog of the night, the personality profile, which will be about the best player in the NBA right now, LeBron James. Coming Monday will be my reviews of NWA WCW Halloween Havoc, beginning with Halloween Havoc 1989 from Philadelphia. The top 10 list will be taking a rest for a few days. And at the end of the month, the personality profile will be taking a rest. And I always say Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, keep calm. And I'm Julie Brennan Guy, Julie Brennan's new six from Orlando, Florida. Got nice, she's got a great smile, and of course, she's got nice legs. And like her Facebook page, because during, during when they have she does Facebook chats once in a while, so you could chat with her on Facebook. I've been chatting with her a couple of times, and she's mentioned me, so thumbs up, Julie. Molly Rosenblatt, a Fox 35 Rocks. Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning. And the words of Sean, get out. See you tomorrow.